Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, you all, and welcome back to the channel. Yes. Now you know we can talk about people. Yes. Because we can can when a can can a can can a can can and I will. Okay, yes, you back at Deb Chanel's for Ace World, co-starring the family. Okay, we got a way on, we got a way on, we got a way on, on, on this subject, people. Now, Courtney Kardashian, she's one of my favorite ones in a sense. If I had to pick out one person, uh, it would be Courtney. Okay. Because she seemed to be sensible. She seemed to love her children. And wouldn't put her children in danger at any point. But honey, baby, they weighing her ass out. I mean weighing it out. And I ain't talking about no scale. I'm talking about backlash. Okay. She letting her 10 year old daughter wear makeup. At least that's what the uh, social media is telling me. Okay. That's what social media is telling me. I had to go take a nap. And I woke up just, you know, strolling my, uh, my stream, not streaming, but just strolling on my phone, looking for content to make content of. And honey, page six style, they got it. Mm -hmm. uh, Jessica Bennett wrote it up on our asses, okay? Now, I can't say this. I can't say this. Black folks, white folks, Asian folks, Indian, Eskimos, any other type of cultural people differ from the westernized culture okay we're very different everybody do things a little bit different than other uh, groups of people groups cultural people okay i can't say i was one of those camp kids nah, I ain't too much like it you know we were gone what a weekend here a week there just depending on what camp you were involved in right well hey you might be gone the whole summer but we were like a part of the 4-H club. I don't know if y'all remember that when y'all were back in school. But yeah, we started when I was, uh, when was it? in the ninth grade, I believe it was. I could have been 13, 14 years of age. All right. Uh, yeah. And we went to camp. And I hated camp. I hated the whole lake. I, I hated the whole bugs effect. Ooh, child. I just didn't like the outdoor. And every time we went, it usually was around the fall time you know what i'm saying oh boy but you know hey if you wanted to do extracurriculum type activity and you want to be a part of the 4-h club you had to go to camp so anyway try and you had to do a presentation at that shit just wasn't free you know what i'm saying you, you just couldn't go up there and just have fun be all willing nilly. everything was just structured you know you had to do presentations in front of a cop crowd and it was just mandated that shit I ain't like. Like, why we got to come and then we got to do schoolwork? That's how I saw it when I was giving my time freely, you know. I'm like, I don't want to do this. We got to present in school in our different other classes, depending on what subject it was. But anyway, these 10-year-olds, Caucasian people, Western Americans, they, they always want to make up. You know, it was fascinating to me because the only place I could get, and then, I, you know, it, had, it had depend if the uh, lip gloss that I was wearing had a tint to it. I couldn't have it. I couldn't have it. to be clear, like you wearing Vaseline, and I did wear Vaseline on my lips, okay? Because sometimes they'd be a little bit perched or parched. So you really couldn't tell unless you was right up close to me and you could, you know, almost smell my breath or whatever. You could smell the scented lip gloss and how it went on my lips anyway i forgot what lips what lip gloss i was wearing that uh had a uh a, a cherry blossom tint to it it wasn't chapstick it was something else. i can't remember but it was in the kids section 
So my mama saw it was in the kid's station. She's like, okay, I don't know what you're going to do with it. And it better not have no tent to it. It's going right on in the trash. And so I was searching because I really didn't care about boys at the time. When I was, I ain't going to lie, I ain't going to lie. Well, I guess I wasn't, wasn't concerned about having sex with them. Just kissing on them and hanging around. I just wanted to be somebody's girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? All innocent, all platonic. But Courtney is catching hell like him. She don't put on the social media or somebody don't put on social media that her kid is wearing makeup, child. I mean, she got the whole thing, uh, routine going on. Now, if it was dermatology type of products because she had acne or whatever, we can excuse that. Go and get your, your acne under control. But from what Page Six is reporting, we're talking about makeup, makeup. Okay, we're talking about like moisturizer. We're talking about primer. Uh-huh. And then she wearing kitty type clothes. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. But anyway, we're going to get on into it. And like I said, uh, Jessica Bennett wrote it up. She, uh, she titled it, Courtney Kardashian Faces Backlash After Daughter Penelope 10 Shares Makeup Routine. Okay. <sighs> Courtney Kardashian is being called out for allowing her 10-year-old daughter Penelope to wear makeup. Penelope Disick shared her makeup routine on TikTok Friday night, and while some followers found it adorable, many others slammed her mother, Courtney Kardashian, for allowing her 10-year-old to explore cosmetics at such a young age. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, the Caucasian people also look at their children as little grown people. They put more on them than they should desire at the time. But, you know, white people grow up real fast, real quick, fast, in a hurry. Yeah, they, if they could, they'd be driving cars at 12. You know what I'm saying? And the parents would get it for them. But they were giving them golf carts, especially those ones that were living in the affluent area. They, they ride golf course, uh, golf carts to school. <laughs> Prepping them. They probably like 10 or 11 at the time. Hell, it could have been 9. But anyway, uh, yeah. They were driving golf carts, getting they uh, feeling about driving and all that. So, is Courtney wrong? Hell yeah. You don't know, she's too pretty. Just get put some moisturizer on her face and she kind of dry skinned it or whatever and let it be. Go, let it be. Because she's going to go through this acne stuff and she got to have treatments for that and that routine to make them acne, you know, farewell on her face. Probably on her legs or her arms too. It just depends. But like I said, it's not nothing new to me. Not nothing new to me that the Western Caucasian people, they start early with their makeup routine. But going back to the article, it says, uh, Penelope Disick shared her makeup routine on TikTok Friday night. And while some followers found it adorable, many found it to be horrendous. Okay. In the now deleted clip, Penelope, whom Kardashian shares with ex Scott Disick, first puts on a pink headband to ensure she doesn't get any product on her hair. Now that's, uh, that's cute enough, ain't it? <laughs> but see, uh, Penelope done went past play play time. You know how you always be, you know, playing and getting into your own little world and you got all this set up or, you know, making food and, you know, the, the play play plastic uh type of stuff that was you know real hard plastic and it made you get in a frame of mind you were cooking and you know all them little cooking materials we used to have uh with our little play sets and our little tea sets and stuff stuff of that nature and we had the little fake uh uh what do you call it makeup cosmetic stuff it was fake you know and it, it wasn't we had to pretend we were putting it on because it wasn't shit to put on your face you know when i was growing up of course but anyway uh Penelope is using the real stuff, okay? She's using real stuff in real time, all right? But anyway, going back to it, the article, as per E! News, she then added a serum to her skin to prep it before applying concealer under her eyes, under her cheekbones, and onto her forehead, blending the product with a beauty blender, Okay. <laughs> Y'all are wearing Courtney ass out. But if Chris, her mother, approved, Scott didn't give a shit. Uh, Courtney don't give a shit about what we think of him on what she doing on social media. 
we ought to be pleased that she's allowing us in her children's lives where she can do these things. But, you know, uh, I don't know how Scott Disick feels about his daughter being on TikTok. But I know Kanye West was like, get your ass off that clock. No, ma'am. No, sir, no, Lord. You will not be on TikTok acting crazy, doing grown-up folks shit. You know, he was on Kim Kardashian's ass about that shit. But it just is what it is, okay? These are rich white folks, rich black folks type of, uh, we call it, scenarios. Because in the car, it really ain't no middle class no more, is it? Just those who have, those who have not. But we're going to talk about the those who have not. They ain't finna let their um, children put no makeup on. Okay, it's just it's not gonna be there. It's not gonna be doable. It's not a doable situation. Okay, now if the child had a accident with her skin, um, you know, was very much so discolored, uh, discolored, or she had one of those uh, burn situations where her skin horrendously got affected for whatever reason maybe she was in a fire maybe she got too close to the hot con i don't know okay i'm just giving you a scenario and she wanted to cover up those imperfections which you know kids get bullied in school they get bullied in school hell they get bullied in pre-k okay they start off in pre-k you take something from the little one they putting some us putting something putting something up a, wait wait a minute, hold up get time twist let me take a sip of my water like say you and your other little um what do you call it teenage not teenage but a uh, kindergarten friend pick up the same item that you that they want and y'all first know it they're gonna be like putting something upside your head it could be a broom it could be a puzzle it is just is what it is when it comes to when you mess with people in pre-k and y'all want to share stuff in the like say the dress up room or the, the kitchen room and y'all fighting yeah and they might get them hands going too i've seen kindergarten people children fight i have seen it okay but anyway uh y'all teach your kids how to fight back so they don't get bullied and stuff okay but anyway uh it says finally she topped off the look with eyeshadow oh lord oh lord eyeshadow mascara and lip gloss in the clip she captions have a good morning <laughs> Now, I ain't laughing at the situation because the situation ain't funny. It ain't like playtime. You know what I'm saying? She had a whole routine, and she must be looking at her mama prepare her face 24-7. Okay? So for her to get up and want to pretend or just put the shit on, and she didn't give a shit who thought what about what. Okay? Because Mama Chris said it was okay. Then the other, let it fall. Let it fall. Let, let the chips fall where they may. Okay? But she uh, since deleted it off her TikTok. But not before other people were catching snips, snapshots, <laughs> little snippets of whatever was going on. Okay? Because them Kardashians, they love to be in the press. They don't care which way or how it fares. They want to be in the press. They want to be on in the, the eyes. No, they want to be on everybody's brain and eyes. And, and, and anything we else can self-project what they're doing. It's just it is what it is. They don't care about press, good or bad, indifferent. They want to be out there known. And people got their names in their mouths, okay? Going back to the article, it says, While many fans noted Penelope's potential future in beauty space, not unlike her aunts Kim and Kylie, others took issue with the preteen being allowed to wear makeup at all, deeming it inappropriate. I have a ten year old, just know they have a only wait a minute, they have a only a few more years. Okay, she must have misspoke, but she was saying they only have a few more years to get into the team section. They need to just be youthful at this time. Okay? Naturally useful. Uh then it says um few more years of per innocence left before they start learning and becoming an adult. Wrote on one critic on Reddit, V.I. The Sun, which another added, I can't believe she is 10 and people are supporting this. Well, welcome to the world that we live in now, Miss Commenter. The world, the people inhabiting the world, not all, but a, a, a few, okay? A justifiable few. They believe in letting their kids do whatever they want them to do, just get out of their face, okay? They're just really waiting. And I'm talking about it could be a part of everybody cultural group 
it's more so with the affluent uh, people that are really making money out there. And they stuck in that mode. They nannies be taking care of them. Their uh, maids be taking care of their children. But they just don't have time. They want to make sure they have all and a little bit more just to floss out there with the rest of the who's who's wannabes. And it's not for us to even think about making a decision on what they should and should not do. And Courtney is feeling herself since she married Travis, Travis, and Baker, Travis Baker. And, you know, we ain't going to talk about when she was dating Justin Bieber. We don't give a shit. You know, that was her youthful young years. But uh, <laughs> they getting her straightened out together. And I bet that's a diamond ring that girl got on her hand. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But anyway. They're introduced to the best of the best of the best of products. And why not let their children participate in it? It ain't like we put it on them at birth. Courtney's probably saying. <laughs> because if she could get away with it. Child, she would have makeup on that child at birth. But, no, we ain't going to go into that. Okay? <coughs> we are not going to go into that scenario, that situation. Because we'll be there forever. Ever in a day, we'll be there. Talking about the Kardashians, how they going, how they looking out in these streets and this, that, and the third. Because they're always trending. Kardashians, Wendy Williams, always trending. Okay? But anyway, a more understanding follower took issue with the clip being shared with the public, writing, There's nothing wrong with a little kid experimenting with makeup and stuff, but for it to be published to the world to see gives me... Or it gives me the irk. I guess I'm old school. Well, no. You, you pretty much like some people feel that way. Makeup should be used in discretion. And, you know, like, I, my mom didn't like me wearing makeup. She didn't allow me to wear makeup unless I sneaked it out the house or whatnot. Uh, till I was going to prom. And that was in my 11th grade year. Okay. But, you know, I, I was a, just a natural beauty anyway. I didn't have to. I didn't have no acne going on. Maybe a few pimples here and there. But not those big explosive ones. You know what I'm saying? And um, I didn't necessarily have to use it. And then when I got a chance to use it, I was doing it for myself one time. I didn't look right. I didn't do it right. I just had too much on there. And like I said, as I got old, I take that back. I think I was in the 10th grade. I was experimenting. But it wasn't like an everyday thing. Uh, but now my uh, lip gloss routine was an everyday thing. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, Caucasian people, they get waxes, they get facials. This is early for them, and they don't care. They don't care. I mean, they really do get you uh, uh, used to wearing makeup after they get out of elementary school. Okay? It's just, you know, that's probably 12. But see, uh, Courtney started a little early because the girl ain't number 10. But, I mean, what is there, what else is there to do? They're Kardashians, you know? They don't uh, live by society rules. They make up the rules as they go along. Okay? Unless that's it's, uh, what's left to believe anyway. Okay? But uh, let's go back to the article. It says, there were also fans who saw no harm in the social media posts. With one tweeting, out of all the things to be concerned about, a little girl's love for makeup. Mm. I mean, the lipstick with the head up there. Worry about yourself. A rep for the Kardashians have yet to return our request for comment. No, they don't want to comment. They ain't going to return no request for comment. Because Courtney say that's her daughter. She do whatever in the hell she want to do with her. She can pimp her out if she want to. Okay, maybe not pimp her out. We wouldn't agree for that. We would be on her ass. We would be like looking for jail time and all that kind of stuff. But she is exploding her child. But that would give one to pause. If you're introducing her to make up at this time and you're posting it for social media now what if nobody said anything that post would probably still be up with the video clips and everything uh yeah that's almost like prepping your child for a man you know what i'm saying I'm that, but i had to say i had had to put it out there but when you're wearing stuff that only a grown person should be wearing at the time and she's using serum I mean, her skin is supposed to be reproducing that anyway on a natural level. But she up here using concealer? What the hell is wrong? She ain't got no uh, bags under her eyes. Ain't no dark circles under her eyes. But, hey, playtime is real time for the Kardashians, especially Courtney's daughter. All right? And that's all I got, fam. I've been dabbing here and there telling y'all how I feel about the situation. Do you think Courtney 
Even though it's court this child, I mean, got no damn business trying to tell her what to do with her child. But you know, we knows this hell. And I'm the nosier one because I go out there and get shit, come back and talk to y'all about. Okay? Was she wrong for doing such a thing? Or was she wrong for introducing her and putting her out on TikTok, showing her makeup routine? Fam, y'all tell me what y'all think. Because like I said, the world is, is aging faster than before. And like I said, Western America, uh, white people, they've been doing this. Ain't nothing new under the song with them. Now, I ain't never seen no real makeup routine get going on, you know, for the ones I did get a chance to see. Because, you know, we all went into the bathroom to uh, freshen up or, you know, take our baths, you know, at different times. And, you know, you had seeing most people put on powder foundation that's about as close as some some cheek uh coloring and stuff of that nature and then they throw the lipstick on or the lip gloss so they have the lipstick with the lip gloss and it was like nothing flamboyant like red and uh paint you know what i'm saying real colors that pop no they just really had the look clear lip gloss on and maybe a little tint of something I don't know, but it's always been. So it, it doesn't um strike me as something that their culture would do. No, not at all. You know what I'm saying? Um, is it right? Hell no. Not in, not for a child, and especially a child without acne. You know what I'm saying? I know they get, you know, some children get, like, bullied and stuff, and they have a lot of acne, and they have to put those products on their face to stop it uh, from, you know, growing and getting out of hand. But, uh, I, I don't know, child. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I know it wouldn't be me. It wouldn't be my child. No, we wouldn't have that going on at any phase. Because I let my daughter wear, uh, lip gloss, you know. And she, that's all she really get now is lip gloss. She don't wear makeup like that, you know. I saw her interest when she was in high school. And it was around, like I said, prom time and stuff of that nature. She wanted to go with the heels and everything. And I was like, mm, okay, that's the phase she's going through. But I didn't really say anything because she wasn't really outlandish with it. You know, doing the whole makeup routine, priming, concealing, all this stuff. She just wanted a, a little blush here. Um, and she was, uh, t um, what do you call it, uh, dabbing here and there in the eyeshadow and stuff. She wasn't doing that real loudly. Like when you saw her, you'd be like, ooh, what happened, girl? You blew up in the makeup factory. What's going on? You know what I'm saying? Not so none of those things. Because I was raised proper. I was raised right. And I, what I learned that my mom had uh, or my dad did to us, even though my dad left at an early time, you know, it's just, we don't go in that. But, you know, I was really in a household without dad. I had good uncles around. So I had uh, my male figures. And I had a brother, too. Uh, still have a brother. He's still living. But, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Like I said, they wearing her ass out on social media. But like I said, they're into beauty. They're into makeup. They're into perfumes. They're into clothing. So, of course, it's going to attract somebody in their clan. You know what I'm saying? It's going to attract somebody, some of the girls, the young children. Okay. And here she might be driving. I have her own chauffeur, chauffeur or limousine service. At 12, we don't know. We don't Because see, these celebrity kids, they don't live the world that we live in, okay? They, they were privy, and they have money on generational, generational, generational. You see what I'm saying? And it's just hitting them. And they, they don't go, they don't float like normal, everyday working people. So how can we get mad on something that a lot of us are not privy to? You know, I don't have a millionaire in my family. I have some uh, family members that do well, and they have their own businesses, but they're not millionaires. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they're still striving. Hell, I really don't know and don't care. It's only when a family reunion come around that you get those family members come out and try to show up and show out and shit. But a majority of my family, they invest well, and they uh they don't buy cars every year or every four to five years, honey. They have shit paid for, and they don't care what uh <laughs> what era or year we in. All they they know they got to keep insurance on it. It rides. They they keep the maintenance up, and that's how they gonna do it. Okay, but uh yeah, that's all I have for this story, y'all. How did they getting on Courtney now about what she's allowing her children to do? Y'all get in them comments. Y'all tell me. Is she foul, honey? Is she foul for doing this situa situation? Is she foul for putting stuff on 
in public for everybody to make an opinion on or do y'all think it's just a publicity stunt to keep people watching and tuning in and processing and giving their own take on what's going on in the kardashians lives okay and i'll see y'all next video Bye bye